Hello, people viewers of some Convincer Who reviews. Today, I'm viewing The Flash, Season 5, Episode 13, Goldface. And in this, uh, Kaden does, uh, has some more, uh, Tang for Cisco to finish his, uh, menu and cure Tang. Or there's a close finish in it. Um, there is a little bit of a problem since there is like a, like the cure only, only starts working for a f like a few minutes and for like a, yeah, that's a problem. Well, well, if that's a problem, is they have to keep a cicada as still for a minute since that's how long a uh, cure it takes to work. Um, Ralph points out that they can uh, keep him still for a few seconds, so I will do it for a minute. Um, Kane is uh, talking about this uh, machine that might be able to do it. I think he's supposed to knock him out, knock him out or something. I can't remember the name. The thing that was stolen, but Ralph and all this uh, black market uh, place, or at least I heard of it. And, uh, it's run by this guy named Goldface, who literally has a face made out of gold. Oh. And they just get confirmation that the the device that they made is there thanks to their old friend, their Earl, I think. So Ralph and uh, Barry have to go undercover to uh, the black market to get the thing. And apparently the little underground black market is called market. Hmm. Uh, when they get there they have a uh, wristband put on them or cuts with uh, the gates their menu power and the if Goldface wants to blow their hand off. Yeah. Anyway with the Sir Luck and the uh, Nora Sherlock gets close to find out uh, who Nora is working with. Yeah, I don't know how we didn't figure it out from a uh, last week's episode when Barry told him that uh, Nora's defense thing in her mind was that the uh, uh, Rush Flash uh, mannequin. Oh. I mean, Nora just goes to Eber since he's worried that Sherlock is getting close and that her dad probably. Hater if he if they find out. Well, Sir Lock is telling Nora to get. I don't know. I'm sorry. I Tom is telling uh, Nora to get Sir Lock's attention somewhere else. So she tries getting to fall in love with this uh, girl and the uh, uh, jitters. I think I don't know. But when he starts uh, just deducing things about. Life, she just creeped out and called call him a stalker. Yeah. And I'm thinking that the, if she contacts uh, Sir Luck's uh, ex wives, they may be able to help to find out where they loved them. But that could be a bad idea since. Uh, so Luck didn't want to ask why he didn't know where he is since he still owes him a alimony checks. checks. Mm. And turns out he married the same woman in, from, di from different Earths. Yeah. And some of the stuff he did is just. I don't know, like he got one of them that said. Dog, even though she's allergic to dogs, and thinking that if she's around, then uh, something she's allergic to might give her an immunity to it. I forget away from one of them, kill himself twice, or he's so like he's dead or fake, he's dead, whatever. Um, and some about uh, fruit bats or another, I don't know. Anyway, they're all really angry, and he was that warn them if the don't get them their money by a month with interest. They're gonna 
send uh, the um, alimony officer Reacher. Ugh. Ugh. But no, I know uh, uh, about three of them leave since uh, only four of them decide to talk. Um, one of them actually does uh, hurt Sherlock uh, very hard by saying that some people don't really serve to be in a relationship or just destined to be alone. Yeah, I think I've heard of anybody that, that likes uh, being a lover or something, I don't know. But thanks to uh, some advice from Nora, Sherlock decides to make up to the one from earlier. Uh, he just uses this guy who uh, who is actually intolerant, but still takes uh, milk with his tea or coffee or whatever. Um, they might not be like, well, they might be they might be taking it slow, but to be able to the ones able to forgive them. Uh, turns out he's a meta human. Yeah. And Sherlock is just uh, more uh, interested in protecting her from Cicada than he is at uh, investigating uh, who Nora's uh, accomplice is. So, Ebert's uh, plan actually worked. Yeah. And with Iris, apparently, uh, thanks to this uh, review on the internet about her uh, newspaper, not a lot of people are buying it. So she decides to do a story of Cicada. Yeah, you just know that uh, that's going bad. Uh, first, he's just uh, interviewing Cicada's old boss, and he just uh, tells her about the place that he got from his cousin. So she try to say, uh, goes there and in at night, and see if there's any clues of where Cicada might. Like, B. The damn cicada sells up with another costume anything to set his normal self and she makes up a, uh, a story that she's doing an article on a, a lead poisoning water that's around the area. Uh, the he didn't really for just uh, trying to kill her afterwards, but she's able to, st I think, stab or do something with the knight with a dagger to him. And I'm kind of glad that she just told him I was in pain and uh, they're gonna beat him. Yeah. Anyway, we're back to uh, Barry and uh, Divney. Uh, Barry just said, uh, meet or just uh, met this uh, person who wants to sell him. These uh, cop uh, killing ray guns of Divney to find the thing they're looking for. And Barry just asks him how much is for all of them. The horse wants to take his stuff out of the street. Uh, then Divney just sort of saying to Barry that he needs to uh, get his head on and sometimes and just find the means. And they find uh, someone that's selling the device and throw out. It is a uh, gold face. Uh, he has a funny feeling about Barry since, as he said, that uh, he's Skullman. He sends uh, other Skullman and he really sends it from Barry, but he does it from Divney. Um, the thing that get Barry was uh, tapping into his dark side, waking up uh, this uh, fake uh, uh, origin story from himself as a super. Criminal, criminal called the the chemist. So, and Goldface only gave him the device on one condition: they have to steal this a three D printer that's going to a hospital, since they can print their organs. I still don't get how three D printer does that, but um, Ralph can tell her the Barry. Uh, is really uh, comfortable doing this, but Barry knows he has to do it to get to uh, 
to the get the device and he even goes even uh, go so far as they to kill somebody. But Ralph isn't really comfortable with it, so he's not gonna let Barry do. And he was locking in the truck when they're doing the heist. Um, when they do get to the printer, yes, he knocks some of the guys out, but the V guy was still uh, standing and telling telling the other guys to beat him up and be a uh, better person. Well, apparently they have guns that uh, does this stun set and a kill set. Anyway, uh, Barry Dale saved Dave Navy from uh, a brick at the got I wouldn't have got some guys. I don't know. And just firing the uh, lasers at some of the other people. Or these uh, stone lasers, whatever. And um, that was a good scene. And they do bring the three three people back. And Goldface is glad but he still wants to kill the guys. And there's a bit of fight between the three of them. The, before that, they try to stun, they stun them with the shotguns, but yeah, since he's made a goal during work, and Barry actually takes him out by getting him angry and uh, hitting the, this, the 3D printer, I think. They can tell. Uh, he think he might kill him, but he's actually alive. But they weren't able to get the device, and they, but they, they get a bit of a win by getting those uh, cop go, guns off the street and the tree printed back to the hospital. Um, the Irish just caused berries to say, tell them, tell them, tell them where, he, where he is, and when they get there, uh, cicadas gone and can't find any clues where it might be but I was thinking that might have found a way to give the cure to Cicada. Um yeah yeah it's just uh, as I said Sir Lock is trying to protect the one that he's infatuated with and Nora's in the braille room remember what the Tom said about what what happened with that the seas are missing. Um, uh, I'd say this episode is good. Uh, Barry tapped into his uh, dark side once again and the thing that uh, the flash will get hands dirty and Disney uh, does uh, stop him doing something that uh, he thinks the flash shouldn't do. And I know I got the summary for the this episode wrong, but I don't know. Um, the the stuff with this uh, Iris was okay, but the best was actually with uh, Sherlock. That's when uh, four of the next wiser uh, con uh, just talking to him. <sighs> it was good. So that means have like uh, seven identical ex wives. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know what they're thinking, but. Mm -hmm. I would have thought that he would have uh, figured out that uh, Nora was trying to get his interest off uh, her, but eh, I don't know. Um, the Goldface was uh, kind of a good villain, yeah, it's kind of, as you say, scum, but I don't know. And turn out Amulet Black is still missing, and uh, I think. Uh, her and Goldface were like partners or something since they're Earl saying that he was a like, Amnes ex boyfriend. So um, yeah, next one sounds a little interesting with Nora trying to uh, fix that uh, time. Maybe something happens to Iris or something. Um I think it'd be kind of similar to uh, a uh, Groundhog Day or something, I don't know. Uh, that's what we'll see uh, what it's like next week. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.